In this video, we're going to attempt to find the missing angle of a triangle. In this triangle, we're told that one side is 17, one side is 12, and we're looking for this angle in the top corner. To help us decide which trig ratio to use to calculate this angle, we need to figure out what 12 and 17 are. 12 is all the way across from the theta, so we call that the opposite side. And the 17 is the longest side across from the right angle, which we always call the hypotenuse side. So if we remember, so ka toa, or sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent, we need to decide which one of those uses the opposite and the hypotenuse. The only one that uses both opposite and hypotenuse is the sine. So we will take the sine of the angle, which in this case is the Greek letter theta. It's just a variable, nothing fancy, it's just Greek, equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, 12 over 17. We can quickly calculate this 12 over 17 as a decimal by dividing. So we find out that the sine of theta, our missing angle, 12 divided by 17 is approximately 0 0.706. We're looking for the angle. We can't plug theta into sine, so what we need to do is calculate the inverse sine of the ratio, the 0 0.706, to equal our theta, to equal our angle. The inverse sine of 0 0.706 is, after rounding, about 45. We'll call it a 45 degree angle is equal to theta. We found that missing angle by looking at what sides we're working with and identifying the trig ratio that uses both. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and so we changed that ratio into a decimal so that we could either look it up in our table or use our calculator to find the sine inverse, which tells us the angle. Let's try one more example where we see this process worked out. Here we're trying to find the missing angle alpha. Given the 5 and the 3, 5 is all the way across from alpha, so we'll call that the opposite. 3 is in between alpha and the angle. It's next to or adjacent, the key stuff. And so if we think about our so ka toa, the only ratio that uses both opposite and adjacent is the tangent. So we will take the tangent of our angle alpha, which is equal to opposite. Whoops, it's going to disappear on me, wrong button. Tangent of alpha, which is equal to opposite over adjacent. 5 over 3. Again, we like to put decimals in, so let's take that 5 thirds and make it into a decimal. By dividing 5 by 3, that's 1.667. And because we can't plug alpha into the tangent on our calculator, we're going to have to use the inverse tangent of the ratio. The inverse tangent of 1.667 must be equal to alpha. And when we calculate the inverse tangent, we end up with, after rounding, about 59 degrees is equal to our alpha, that missing angle. If we know what sides we're talking about, we can identify the correct trig ratio, and to find an angle, we need to use an inverse trig ratio.